finished the, the hole on the one side, and now we're going to bore out this side to two inches. Now I had to, I had to do it in two stages because the boring bar is long enough to go through here. Uh, it was just chattering too bad, so I had to get a little smaller bar. And um, also, we're going to start out boring this with a with a uh, half inch boring bar mounted in a one inch extension, and um, and then we'll move once we get it the diameter big enough to accept the bigger boring bar. We'll change it over. Okay, so uh, let's get with it. It's the first pass with this bar, sir. I don't know how that's going to do.
Guys, and we're setting up with a with a heavier boring bar to finish this hole up. Uh, the first pass, I'm just going to let it go through and see where it's at, and then we'll see what we can take after that. Okay. Uh, same speeds of feeds, and uh, let's see what we can do. clean it up. We'll stop it on the other side and take it out.
All right, guys. There you have it. Two inch and two inch. Now let's take it off and go try it out. All right, guys. Well, got it all put together. After I uh, bored this, I ended up I, I made a shaft for the uh, for the drive shaft, and you can see what I was doing now. Uh, I had to come through here to be able to operate the relieving attachment. Now I'm going to go around to this side of the lathe, and the way that shaft works, it, just, it rolls in and out, okay? And um, I'm not doing an oil can. So it can come all the way out. I think I'm going to have to shorten it a little bit. I cut it a little long just to make sure I didn't cut it too short. Anyways, that's what we've been working on is this motor mount. I didn't want to give up the relieving attachment, um, so but I wanted to use this 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 mount here. So this is how we how we dealt with it. Uh, got the motor on the um, on the mount. Everything is just sitting here. Uh, the only thing I see that might be a problem is this lever right here. I don't know how much it has to throw. May have to make some adjustments to that. But now I got to take it all back apart and uh, clean it all up. Um, still haven't decided which motor. This motor is a 1200 RPM motor. Uh, the spindle, the lay spindle is going to run the same speed, which no matter which um, drive I use, the five horse or the three horse, or the 1200 RPM or the 1750 RPM. The the difference is uh, the motor. The drive pulley uh, can be bigger on this one, which helps with leather belts. So that's the that's the big thing that I'm I'm looking at. There's no difference in the end. There's not going to be any difference in the speed of the lathe. It's just which which uh, drive I want to use, and I'm going to have to make the pulley, and I want to make sure it it, it has good contact and, and drives good. So that's the biggest thing. I really wanted to use this on a um, on my bandsaw, and I still might, but I, I'm, I'm leaning towards the 1200 RPM motor. Uh, other than that, just keep moving on. Like I said, this kind of it's been a long day, um, but we're gonna take this back apart, clean it all up, break the edges, you know, do everything we're supposed to do to it, paint it. When you see it the next time, it'll all be new looking. So, well, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I know it's been a couple weeks since I, maybe three weeks since I posted one, but I've been out here working just, just uh, like I said, the stuff hadn't been video quality or worthy stuff, so it's just been knocking these little things out. But this was a major effort. Now, I'm, on this, this uh, spacer I put in here, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna make this look like a cast iron part. It's gonna have rounded edges, and, and in the end, you, will, you won't even know it's a piece of aluminum, so. All right. So like I said, that's about a wrap. And um, for the backyard machine shop, so long.